Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashava. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. So in 2006, I set up a project called Free Economy, which at the time was the biggest skill sharing website in the world. The Moneyless Manifesto Live Well, Live Rich, Live Free. Interview with Mark Boyle, part three of three. Continue watching to find out more. Kujay Maratoshiv, I just said, How are you in Irish Gaelic? I'm Aidan. The open-hearted people of Northern Ireland cherish such bright, caring friends as you and pray that all lives may be rightfully respected as God's precious children. Welcome to part three of our three-part series entitled The Moneyless Manifesto, Live Well, Live Rich, Live Free, interview with Mark Boyle. In 2008, Irishman Mark Boyle decided to live without money, diverting from the norm of modern society in a quest to tread more lightly on earth and to be more in tune with the natural world. Since then, Mark Boyle has written several books based on his experiences. In The Moneyless Manifesto, he recounts his years of living without money. His newest publication, The Way Home, chronicles his more recent switch to a technology-free lifestyle. With witty humour and insightful perspectives, Mark Boyle's books draw on his fascinating personal experiences to show readers how we, too, can reduce our reliance on material possessions to lead more fulfilling lives in harmony with the environment. Let us find out more about Mark Boyle's inspiring story as we continue our interview with the progressive author. I started in 2008. Um, I gave up money then, um, initially for one year. I um, ended up doing that for three years. Um, and then I suppose in the transition phase of moving back to Ireland, I was still living on virtually no money. Very, very kind of tech-free to a large extent in the modern perspective. Then in 2016, quit technology like what we understand as modern technology um, altogether. So that's when I give up electricity, give up um, running water, give up cars, give up, basically give up the products of everything I was campaigning against uh, in my kind of environmental work. So I guess between everything, I've been in this way of life for maybe 12 years now. A key factor that supported Mr. Boyle's moneyless lifestyle was the help that he offered as well as received from his community. In fact, this unconditional gift-based model was the basis of the online Free Economy community, a skill and tool sharing platform that Mark Boyle founded in 2006 prior to going moneyless. So in 2006 I set up a project called Free Economy, which at the time was the biggest skill sharing website in the world, I think it 180 different countries around the world. and. Quite amazing because it was just me in a bedroom at the time. That went on for maybe six, seven years. And in the end, I actually merged with a project called Street Bank. Partially because I felt that I changed perspective. I felt the gift economies work naturally um, without the massive cost of servers and uh, uh, web designers and the whole lot. Um, uh, they work naturally in rural areas. Uh, it's just how life is. Um, and to try to replicate that in the city doesn't always work. You'd be very surprised how much it costs to run a gift economic website. It's quite incredible. And Street Bank were quite set up to do that at the time. So I would like to say that there's some easy way of tapping into urban free economic living. There still is many ways, you know, like couch surfing is a really good example. Free cycle. We'll take a few moments for an uplifting message and return here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to the Moneyless Manifesto, Live Well, Live Rich, Live Free. Interview with Mark Boyle, part three of three. 
Mark Boyle gives an overview of how his books offer guidance to the lifestyle changes he has implemented, beginning with Free Economy. The first book's full of different um, projects in which people can tap into that. The first book's The Moneyless Man. That was more of a story of my experiences living around money and some tips. The second book, actually, The Moneyless Manifesto, is more of a practical guide to living in this way. And so that's, that's completely full of the tips, you know. That's like if you were interested in living with less money, then, uh, then there's probably thousands of tips in there, you know, which to do that. So this book here, The Way Home, Tales from a Life Without Technology, it's kind of a, a little bit like the first book, um, in that it's more of a story. It recounts the tales, the observations, the conversations over farmyard gates, the, th the things you observe too about life when you get rid of the distractions. Because there's some things that you don't, you, you can't even see because you're so engrossed in your headspace of the next buzz, you know. So it's kind of a look at life through the eyes of somebody who doesn't have all the modern contraptions. Um, it was handwritten and that was interesting in itself also because there's a very different quality of thought and writing that comes from sitting in front of a fire uh, with a pencil um, than comes from um, sitting in front of a computer all day and copying and pasting and deleting. I think sometimes now for a couple of hours before I even put pen to paper. But then when I do write, it's all in one go. It's like 1500 words and nonstop almost, you know. It's like um, carpenters often say, measure twice, cut once. Uh, very good advice in carpentry. I think in writing, the good advice is think twice, write once. We're becoming like the machines that we're using, you know, and I think that's the biggest danger. Not the machines are going to become more like men or women. Um, uh, that uh, the men and women are going to become more like machines. Um, and that's what I'm in some ways trying to resist is that uh, process of myself. I want to stay human. Ultimately, Mark Boyle believes that the benevolence upon which the free economic lifestyle is based is inherent in all of humanity. This generosity comes more naturally the closer we are to the environment. It's in all of our lives to some degree, you know, less and less as money takes over, you know. But like if you don't charge your partner, for example, to make dinner for them, you know, that's an example of gift economics, you know, in some ways. But it's actually like just an extension of what is already happening to us. Like I spoke to my neighbour, she's an old woman, 80, 87, up the road from me. She told me when she was growing up, um, not from a lifestyle choice, just from reality, she lived on one penny a week. She'd be able to pick up some flour. And that's all That's all she'd buy was the flour. All the other f food she grew. And that seems quite extreme for us now because we can't imagine uh, not having to go to the supermarket to buy all our food. And that's only 50 years ago, you know. It's not a long time. Um, that's one aspect in terms of like a relationship with the land itself. Um, in terms of people some of my neighbors do things for me and, and likewise me for them we wouldn't dream of charging each other because it's in a rural setting and we know we all depend on each other you know to get by just just normal kindness yeah i think it's not even i don't even know if it's kindness it's just life kindness would even imply that there was some kind of reg register of like, you've done a good deed you know like it's kind of there's not even a register of that it's just what you do where in the modern industrial kind of more urban setting it's like It'd be very surprising if anybody in your surroundings came to your house and helped you with something for nothing, you know. And I think that's got, a, a, again, another deep psychological effect on us, you know. It makes us feel like the world around us is against us, you know, is like it's out to get, get, get the whole time. And that puts us into a certain mentality. But I think when you're in, when you operate within the gift economy or in, the, in that spirit, then you have a different relationship with the world because, you know, you're seeing as a place in which is friendly towards you, as long as you retain that kind of healthy relationship with it. At the end of this interview, we prepared some gifts for Mark, including Supreme Master Ching Hai's best-selling book, The Noble Wiles, as well as her informative book about climate change and its solution, From Crisis to Peace. Oh wow, oh my god. That, that's quite exciting. <laughs> god, you don't get it very often after interviews. Oh my god, Jesus. That's it, keep me going for the whole day. Or a week. Oh wow, that's a beautiful book. Wow, that's very beautifully done. 
Like you can really tell even from just looking at pictures of her with life that she's yeah, you know, she's got a whole very deep awareness of life around her. I really look forward to reading that. God, thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. And then there seems to be a whole lot of little treats. Is it? Is and those bougie bougie, is it? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, I still remember bougie bougie. <laughs> it's a wee book in there as well, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, bless you. We thank Mark Boyle for sharing his experiences with us and for demonstrating how a spirit of giving, simplicity and appreciation of Mother Earth can create kinder communities where people live in abundance and harmony with nature. For more information on Mark Boyle's books, please visit permanentpublications.co.uk and oneworld-publications.com. It's been a pleasure to have you, our noble viewers, with us today. Coming up next is the elegant and athletic chamois, right after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. May your days be adorned by the glory and wonder of the divine. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ul.